Today I'm going to review a Blake 7 episode and this one's called Spacefall. Spacefall is the second episode in the series and it follows straight on from the first episode, The Way Back, introduces Avon and Garn and at the end of this say The Liberator. Although it's the second episode, it was actually made first. It was broadcast in 1978, directed by Pennant Roberts, and the show Blake 7 was created and written by Terry Nation, who wrote all the stories in season 1, but 7.3 million viewers. Blake 7, Spacefall, stars Gareth Thomas as Blake, Sally Navette as Jenna, Paul Darrow as Avon, Michael Keaton as Villa, David Jackson as Gan. So the plot of this episode's a good one. Framed as a paedophile, Blake sets off on a prison ship called London for the penal colony on Cygnus Alpha. Blake, Jenner and Villa meet Avon and Gan to cause a mutiny on the prison ship. And at the end of the episode, they escape on the Liberator. So I thought I'd review this one because it's followed on from the way back and it's another hard hitting episode. This show's definitely more adult than Doctor Who at the time. And why this episode's so good is the characterisation. Even the guards that run the ship, they've all got character. I like the captain, he's like world weary and he's like almost retired and he just wants to get the job done. But he's second in command. Raker, he's a right twat, sadistic, he, he, he likes to bully the, the prisoners and he gets off on it, he, he's like smirks to himself when he's able to do a bit of violence. I'm Raker, and I think there are a few things you should know. You will obey every order and instruction that he's given you. And there's even a scene where he tries to get his way with Jenna. He says he'll go easy on her if she does what he tells her to do. And she, she whispers something in his ear and he gives her a good slap across the face. So it like really shows his character in that one scene. That's very considerate of you. Why make it hard on yourself? Why indeed? I know what you bloody whispered in his ear. Get bloody fucked. <laughs> and this episode shows Blake how he's a good leader. He gets the group together to cause a mutiny on the prison ship. And it's quite surprising that there's a scene where the guard knows that he's been accused of being a paedophile. Federations framed him. Quite the celebrity. Something of a come down for a leader of men, isn't it? Molesting kids. The charges were false. Oh, yes, of course. Eh, hell, the Federation tried to make on Blake's a bloody kiddie fiddler. <laughs> like bloody Jimmy Savile. And that's really quite um, hard hitting for, for the time in the 70s. In fact, I don't think they'd do it now because it's such a controversial subject. But it's not all doom and gloom. There's some great witty dialogue with the characters, especially the character of Villa, it gives comic relief to the, the stories. In this one, he's like a coward, so it's really funny. Great character. And this episode introduces Avon and Gan. Gan doesn't have much to do, he's just like a strong man. He's good at um, assaulting the guards. So that's about all he ever does. He uses brute force. But he does have a, like a chip in his head that uh, stops him from killing people, so that's unusual. However, Avon, classic character, he's probably my favourite character in the show. And he's like an anti-hero, but at the same time he's likeable. So really well written character, and his personality is like a computer. His brain works on like uh, in a logical way. He looks at problems as a computer would do, and he's a computer genius as well. Only if you can open the doors. I could open every door, blind all the scanners, knock out the security overrides, and control the computer. Control the computer, and you control the ship. I like the ending of this as well, where the board, the Liberator, great design as well. And it's like, um, when they're inside, it's, it gives you like an upbeat feeling with the music as well. 
And I, I love the scene where they take off and the character Rirekas like trying to board the Liberator but with it taken off he sucked into space and I actually cheered when I saw the end of the creep. Yeah, I was glad that nasty twat got killed. Yes, Bones, I heard you shouting that while we were watching it. So the modern work on this is really good as well, considering it's like a cheap TV programme. I think they did really well with the budget. And the sets, like the, the Liberator and, and the prison ship, they all look genuine. And the titles are pretty good as well with the music. The music, uh, it's like an upbeat music. So although it was like a studio bound episode, there was no like um, outside location footage, I thought it was excellent. Great to see Avon and the team and Blake and all of them getting together and forming a group and born the Liberator. So although it's not as good as the first episode, it's still a bloody good one. So out of 10, I'm going to give it 9. Nine out of 10. Pretty impressive. But do you think boys do like it? Top Mark Spiel, one of the best TV shows gunning. Get the third episode reviewed. Yes, I will born sometime. The third episode's called Cygnus Alpha. So look out for more TV episodes getting reviewed this month because it's a TV yeah. theme month. Okay, everybody, bye. See you next time. Like, subscribe and share. Bye. Bye. Don't be nervous, Vera. Nervous? I'm not nervous. Just poised for action, that's all. You've got an army of five, Blake. Five and him. Do you still think you can...